Sometimes I am asked about examples of propaganda. Today's example is a brilliant use of propaganda, and this is one of those times that I'm not necessarily opposed to it. It's, it's propaganda, it's smart use of language to bring about a, a likely outcome. Uh, so it's not just real straightforward, uh, it, well, it kind of is, but it's just a way to use words. And that is something we've been noticing, is that recently vegans have no longer been calling uh, the meal that you eat that is comprised of a dead chicken, no longer are they calling it chicken. They are now calling it chickens. So instead of saying, would you like uh, to go eat some chicken? They would say, would you like to go eat some chickens? And that's a brilliant use of language to kind of bring about this, uh, this feeling of, wait a minute, I'm not eating chicken, a food product. I'm eating a living creature that's called a chicken. So that's a brilliant use of language. And that is a great example of propaganda. So whether you're vegan or not, there's really nothing dishonest or bad about that. It's just a way of choosing words and saying things to uh, influence people to your perspective and what you would like them to understand about something.